Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. God has spoken to us through the Son. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets, in these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made heir of all things and through whom He created the universe, who is the refulgence, splendor, of His glory, the very imprint of His being, and who sustains all things by His mighty word. When He had accomplished purification from sins, He took His seat at the right hand of the Majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name He has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my Son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me? And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. God has made himself known to mankind not just through prophets, but now through his Son. Today's passage is often referred to as a summary of the Son's person and work. God the Father calls Jesus his Son. Verse 3 When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the Majesty on high. In the Jewish tradition sitting at the right hand of your host was the highest honor, because the host who assigned you the seat was in effect saying, I have the highest respect for this person, and I greatly value their advice. God used many ways to send his messages to his people in the Old Testament. Isaiah had visions. Jacob was instructed in dreams. Abraham and Moses were spoken to personally. God continues to reveal his will but at this time in history it was amazing to Jews that God would reveal himself by speaking through his son. Jesus was the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. A Jewish reader would immediately recognize that Jesus was superior to any created being because, he was the firstborn son, and firstborn son he had the place of highest privilege and responsibility in the family. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6, 